Hello, my name's Chris for today. I'm going to show you how to install Redis on Portainer. Redis is a key value store. That means that it can, it can uh, store cache data or anything that's key value. So a, a little bit about this series as I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So, I'm going to go into Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description for it to get to it. Okay, now I'm going to go to How to Install Redis on Portana right here. Then I'm going to go to Docker and Pose Redis right here. And then I'm going to explain it. So, version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. I'm going to say Services. And then the first service underneath the services is Redis. And then now the the image that will be used is Docker Hub off uh, of the Redis and then the latest tag. So if there's no URL before this, that means that it's coming default off Docker Hub. So now I'm going to say container name is Big Bear Redis. You can change this. And then I'm going to map ports. So the host side is going to have 6379. The container side is 6379. So you can't change the container side, but you can change the host side if there is a port conflict. You can change it. And then now I'm going to say some volumes. So I'm going to uh, create a bind to data, Redis, data on the host side. And then in the container side is just data. So you cannot change the, the, uh, the container side. You can only change the host side. So... Now that's explained, so I'm gonna go over here to copy raw file, and then it's copied now. So we're gonna go over to our portainer and get this installed. So I'm gonna start out on the portainer's homepage, and then I'm gonna go to local. I'm gonna go to stacks right here, and then stacks are just a uh, Docker compose underneath. So now I'm gonna add stack. Then I'm gonna give the stack uh, a name, so I'm going, going to do Redis stack. And then um, I'm going to go down to web editor right here. And this is where you will paste in your Docker Compose. So I'm going to do that. Okay, now it's pasted in. So now I'm going to go down to deploy the stack. And then Redis is deployed now. So we can um, see that if you go in the stack now, you go to Big Bear Redis right here. You can see it's ru running. Now, if you go to editor up here, you can edit this and then you can say update the stack. When you repull the image, it's gonna re repull the fresh image down with the tag. So, so if you update the latest tag, then you can just go in here and repull the image and redeploy. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the containers and then now I'm going to see that the port is 6379 on the host and 6379 on the container. So we can see the volumes cr created with, with your binds and then it, it created a Redis stack network down here. So you can go into logs and you can see that it's up and running, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and test the Redis now. So we're gonna run a, uh, a command to start up a Redis cont container with the latest tag. And then when this is stopped, it's gonna just remove itself. And then we're gonna run Redis CLI inside of this command. And then we're gonna put the portainer's IP address here and then um, we're gonna run it and we're gonna set uh, put ping in there. And then from the Redis server, we should get Pong back. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna go over to my terminal. I'm gonna paste it in. I'm gonna replace this portainer's IP address with my IP address for my portainer. And then once you do that, it should be ready to go, so I'm going to return or enter. Okay, now we're inside of the Redis container. So I'm going to ping. And then now we got Pong back. If you get an error, 
that means that uh, the Redis server is not set up correctly. Um, so we got the Pong back, so this is successfully working. So I just walked you through step by step on how to get Redis on Portainer working. And um, this used Docker Compose underneath with Portainer Stacks. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.